that shout out to RPC Studio and Suit Up to bring us this, this perfect Spider-Man suit, period. And guys, stick to the end to witness the craziest Spider-Man interaction video. Enjoy. L29 Parkway, all officers in the vicinity, please report. We received a 267 from a nearby civilian. We need to find the child as soon as possible. No, 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 where is it? No, not again. May? And May? Yes, Peter? Where's my suit? Which one? Well, you know, the, the one I made on Happy's jet. The red and black one. Thank you, May. I thought I was gonna have to use the homemade suit. I came, I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord. Hey guys and welcome back to Elboy Carson for another Spider-Man suit review video. Today we are unboxing none other than the Spider-Man No Way Home version of the red and black suit from RPC Studio. So I want you guys to think back in 2019 when Spider-Man Far From Home first came out. When Peter Parker designed a black and red suit, it seemed a little unorthodox or untraditional because we all know Spider-Man's red and blue, but for some reason I love that color scheme. It really clicked. I thought to myself, dang, would it be awesome if I owned a red and black suit? And right now, this video is a dream come true. So here's a little fun fact about RPC Studio. So they actually came out in 2006 and they specialize in very professional looking Spider-Man suits. They're very up to date about what suits they're making. Usually when a movie comes out, the RPC Studio version of that suit will soon follow just a month or two later. We got movie suits and we also got video game suits as well as comic suits. So if you guys want to check them out, feel free to. It'll be in the link in the description below. RPC Studio actually produces two types of Spider-Man suits. The first one is called the Die Sub. That is your standard white spandex that has the Spider-Man pattern printed onto it in a 2D way. They're on the cheaper side and they're pretty similar to your standard print costume or Heroes Time Spider-Man suits. But the second one, their flagship Spider-Man suits, is the RPC Paint suit. So those ones cost at least $600 because there is a professional process behind that. They actually use colored fabrics so that when you stretch the suit out, it'll stay to its true color. Also, they have a super intricate screen printing process that makes the suit extremely 3D and weird to the, uh, weird to the touch. <laughs> and when people see those suits, they'll think that it's the real deal. So this suit is actually not the far from home version red and black suit where it has the black bands on the belt area. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of what that looks like because there was supposed to be web cartridges there, but without it, it's extremely empty and just not that cool looking. You blew it! For the No Way Home version, they actually ditched the black belt and replaced it with the classic Spider-Man belt. And when that came out, all the fans loved it. That was like their perfect Spider-Man suit. All right, boys and girls, the moment you've all been waiting for, I've seriously been waiting for this suit for like over a year. We're grabbing a big knife for this for such a grand occasion. I'm gonna be as careful as possible. By the way, this box is so much lighter compared to my No Way Home Final Swing suit. Just because there isn't a face shell, I have my own face shell, which is a lot better. And I'll tell you guys in a sec. Dude, I gotta be like super careful. Cause like, just imagine if you ripped your $700 suit. That is a rip in multiple ways, man. Rip my wallet, rip this video. Ay yo, wait. Ah! It's a shoebox design. All right, yo, holy cow. Oh my gosh. I can already kind of see the mask here. Um, this is insane. Dude, I love the packaging. It's super form fitted. It's not messy at all. Oh my gosh, whoa. Okay, we got this really cool RPC Studio um, welcoming card. And uh, yo, this Venom suit looks bad A. We gotta get it sometime. Just kidding, I'm too broke for that. You are a brokey. And now, we have the suit itself, as well as the mask. They came in these like really thick Ziploc bags so that it won't get scratched or whatever. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Feels like I'm holding an alien skin or something. Dude. 
Oh, holy moly. It's here. It's here, yo. Oh my. Dude, I think I'm freaking out right now. Holy fetch. This was worth the year of me eating beans and rice every meal and uh, waiting four months for this suit to come out. Guys, let's take a deeper dive into this suit right now. All right, let's talk about the mask first. Okay, first impression, extremely premium. When I'm feeling this mask, there isn't a single part that I can feel spandex, if you know what I mean. Like, it's all screen print. It's like so shiny. Let's have some fun. Let's, uh, let's try this mask on, see what it's like. Oh, wow. It's really tight. Uh, at least there's eye holes. Dude, this is like natural. Yeah. Oh, you look like a serial killer more than you do Spider-Man. Oh my gosh. Guys, I barely put on this mask. I needed assistance. It's super snug and tight. I don't know if a face shell is going to fit in here, but hopefully this works like shoes, how the more you wear it, the more stretched out it gets, but it cuts out exactly by the bottom of the neck. Dude, my jaw hurts by talking. This is how tight it is. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and guys, if you take a closer look at the eye holes, they didn't just cut the eye holes and leave it there. They actually sewed in the edges so that it will not tear over time. So compared to my Spider-Man No Way Home final swing suit, there is a stark difference in the shading of the red. You can see that the No Way Home one is a lot more vibrant. Well, this one, it's a little bit more of like a saturated maroon color, which I like. You guys might be wondering, Lucas, does RPC Studio offer face shells? The answer is yes, they do. Are they super duper good? Maybe not. Just kidding. I'm not gonna say that. But I didn't buy them for two reasons. The first reason is they are extremely expensive for what you're paying for. RPC Studio face shells are about $200. They're very, very pricey, and you can buy better face shells with more reasonable prices off of very talented creators on Instagram. And the second reason why I did not get the RPC Studio face shell is because it's not as movie accurate. It seriously gives me cartoon Spider-Man vibes. When I was looking at some videos of people reviewing RPC Studio face shells, the proportions just, there's something about it. It's just, it's just a little off. The thing that throws me off the most though, is the chin of their face shells. There's this like flat part that just super unappealing. I decided to go with my suit up Spider-Man Far From Home face shell. This one is the perfect face shell. From all angles, it looks like Tom Holland's head and the eyes look great and it's super comfortable with the mesh inside too. I really hope that this face shell can do this suit justice. All right, y'all, now for the moment of truth. We're gonna review the suit in its full glory. Oh. Mr. Stark, it smells like a new car in here. It smells like a new car in here. First of all, I'm just looking at the screen print right now, and I have to say that they have done such an amazing job with realism. The dots are super, super small, and they're very close to each other, very, very dense, so that there isn't a boring part to look at. Guys, I absolutely love the red on this. It's not super vibrant, and since this suit does portray a darker, more mature version of Peter Parker, I like how it's a little bit darker in the red. If you guys look closely at the webbings, oh my gosh, they're nice and black. I like how prominent it is. You can see it very clearly. A really cool pattern that I see from this suit is also that there's actually two lines that kind of collide into one thicker line. Very cool on the artistic design from Marvel Studios. This is just gonna look beautiful. And then with the front spider emblem, it's got like this uh, pleathery feel to it. It's not as 3D as I would imagine, but it's good enough for now. And I think that the white part of this suit really just adds an accent or flavor to the suit. And we can see that the belt here is very classic looking. With parts that don't have the screen print, you can see that there's this beautiful semi shiny spandex underneath. It's very soft, very, very comfortable. Wow, just look how much detail there is just on the thigh area. We get lines and stuff, but they're not just one pattern. You see how for this one, there's three lines at a time all across and then we got the more dense lines here. And then for the front part here, 
also a different type of pattern too. This suit really reminds me of the final swing suit from No Way Home. I mean, guys, just look at this and imagine this in a blue, chromey, shiny look. I think that's how Peter Parker got his inspiration for his new final swing suit. Let's look at the back. One of my favorite parts of this Spider-Man suit is that beautiful back emblem. It just bumps up the suit by three points for me. If you guys look really closely, this is not just plain white here. You can actually see some interesting, what's this shape? Trapezoid? Is this a trapezoid? You can actually see some very interesting parallelogram patterns on it. Very, very faint though, which is awesome. And for the back, wow, this texture is so weird, but I like it. It's like thicker lines all across the back of the suit. Again, I hope I fit into this because this, this is not my back. There's gotta be, it's gotta be like this or something. I don't know, but through the shoulder area that goes all the way down to the waist, you can see the black rubber band, but obviously this is not made out of rubber. It looks like it was painted through a thin, maybe pleather-like material. So I hope this stands the test of time. The arms. I really like how busy this part looks. We also got web shooters. So they're basically they're printed puffy paint web shooters that is completely 2D that actually collides with the zipper. So if you zip the zipper open, you'll see that the web shooter breaks off in half too. Now, let's see if this works. Wow! Yo! Guys, I'm already having a good feeling about what this suit is gonna look like. Look at the diagonal lines and how they collide with the rest of the parts. And you can see there's kind of like a Iron Man pulse cannon here. Pretty cool stuff too. But dude, this is shiny stuff, man. Welcome to another video of what's inside. Today we're gonna see what's inside an RPC Studio Spider-Man suit. This looks clean. So, pure black and red fabric. Usually for the dice up suit, the cheaper suits, this part is all white. So when you stretch it, the color is gonna fade and it won't look as good. Let's go to the last part, the shoes. So these are Kung Fu shoes. They're much lighter and I'm already Noticing an issue here, guys. I don't think this suit comes with boot zippers. This will make it so much harder for me to slide my foot in and put on the suit. I'm a little bit concerned. So here's a little bit of the pattern slash outline of the Kung Fu shoes. Um, it's really tight, so you can, you can see it very clearly. But the soles are pretty basic, grippy, I hope. The red part goes all the way down to the end of the soles. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's put on this beautiful red and black suit. Guys, I know that I've said that I felt like Tom Holland wearing my other Spider-Man suits, but never have I felt more like Tom Holland wearing this. It's gorgeous in every way. The reason why I chose, uh, you know, filming this under the sun is so that you guys can have a good view of what the shine looks like. 
it's chock full of detail and everywhere you look in the suit there are web patterns there are screen printed dots there's texture there's just so much to look at guys this suit is so freaking comfortable man like super unrestricted um there's no frog arm effect you know it's very straight yeah dude i can do whatever i want shadow boxing no problem um yeah free as a bird as always that's uh it's kind of a standard now for spider-man suits you have to feel great in it it's scorching hot outside and you can see that the suit is no longer blue and red anymore i should be cooking in this but for some reason i feel like the spandex is actually heat resistant what yeah I'm, I'm chilling here the beautiful thing about this spandex is it's not just pure black spandex if i move around there's this little bit of like crystal dust looking thing that if i move it it dances like glass in the light such a beautiful attention to detail i know there were quite a bit of youtubers that were a little bit dissatisfied with their rpc tank suit for example there's a cosplayer called vanilla cosplay when he got the red and black suit one of the shoes was actually too small and he couldn't fit it so he had to return it i felt so bad for him but in this case it is extremely comfortable and wraps around my body perfectly like a glove because it is a custom made suit. So everything is according to the measurements of my body. And when you guys buy a Spider-Man suit, please get the custom made option. You won't regret it because it'll feel like it's your personal suit. And you guys can see just how immaculate it is with the suit up face shell. I'm so glad that I didn't choose the RPC face shell. And this is why. This looks like Tom Holland wearing his Spider-Man suit on set. Like it's it's that real. And with this face shell, I actually prefer the look from the side than dead to the front. I don't know why. They're both great angles, but that side profile is really important. And the lenses are just perfect with the gloss-free lenses. It also shines under the sun. It is just amazing. So when you guys are, you know, constructing your perfect Spider-Man suit, don't be afraid to piece the best parts of different companies to combine it into your ultimate Spidey suit. This is what I did. Yo, guys, this is what the shoe looked like. Like, obviously you can see a little bit of the marks and stuff, but without the boot zippers, I can live without it. You know, I can slide in the shoe and slide out of the shoe Easy peasy, no problem at all. And working out is such an important part. Yeah, bro, do Dude. not skip leg day. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh shoot. Yeah, like, bro. I've been trying <laughs> to do leg day lately. We're killing it on the hack squad, and oh, Spider Butt is working. <laughs> it's working. You're almost there. Yeah, you almost man. beat Captain America's butt. Oh. <laughs> that is America's ass. <sighs> Once again, if you're filming on a super hot day you can easily take out the lenses like this. And because the edges are sealed tight, it's super easy to click it back in and take it back out. Like no problems at all. If you want me to take off the mask, I can do that. You know, just to show you guys how it is. Okay, so first we zip it up and then we all we need to do is just slide it down and uh, cool facial, right? Absolutely perfect. We just take it off like this. Oh, it is nice to breathe again. I just love the maskless look because Peter Parker, you know, was in his suit without a mask in the majority of the scenes. And the perfect thing is the neck seal cuts like halfway down the neck, super realistic, just like the movies. And yeah, man, I just want to wear this everywhere. I don't, I want to wear this to the grocery store. I want to wear this to school. I'm just kidding. That's not probably too childish, but dude, it's natural. It's a nice looking suit. You see that? And then... Punisher. All right, listen up, Skullface. This isn't my first rodeo. Don't want to do this. Okay, maybe you do want to do this. <laughs> Here and activate taser web. Whew. So glad I didn't have to fight that guy. Were you trying to kill me, bro? Oh. 
Oh, what a fight. Anyway, I just realized that my friend Gallery Productions actually did a homemade version of the Spider-Man Red and Black suit. And I kind of wanted to do a little comparison of what it's like to have his homemade red and black suit and my RPC studio red and black suit. Let's get it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're considering getting a suit from RPC Studio, I'd say go for it, man. But, oh, final verdict. Do I like this suit? Is this my favorite Spider-Man suit that I own? Yeah, I'd say so. I got two more suits coming in. We got the Night Monkey suit from Far From Home and the Spider-Man PS5 Advanced Suit 2.0. Both suits are pretty high competitors, but as of now, this red and black one, it's a solid 10 out of 10. And if you guys like this video, please press subscribe and make sure to share with some of your friends and click the like button. And together we can... Guys, I think there's a parade happening. <sighs> okay, we gotta surprise some kids with Spider-Man, yeah? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry, guys! Oh. Hold on, guys, I'm coming! All right, let's get to work. It's time to catch us a spider. So many enemies to capture. How did they get here? They call it out the wound work for me. You were not the first doctor. I never heard of you. Hey, what's up, officer? Bully Maguire.
No, 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 no. So, you enjoy life? Yeah, me too. I be writing this down Waves crashing like breeze That's a beautiful sound Mother nature making music What I do with it now See I'm trying to catch the vibe As I'm writing this out I ain't looking at no dumb text I'm looking at the sunset No wonder people depressed When they forget That the world around them stunning I oh felt victim God, I done it I mean so Listen let's run it I mean Focus on impressing other people Got me feeling redundant So I be steady Trying to impress myself Just glanced at my phone Showing these texts myself When you working I'm on strong. yourself They impress I'm as well I swear the world be like Let's just dwell on the things we can't do and we shouldn't do. All I think you can do, what you wouldn't do. Full sand is a godly term. If life, then you got to learn it. Uh, man, I'm feeling so blessed today. Put the struggles in the past that was yesterday. Let the beat keep rolling, homie. Let it play. And all them other people throwing shade, let them hate. Keep your head on straight, cause it's a cold world. But keep looking around, cause it's a dope world. I mean, I be loving life, man. It's a beautiful day. And there ain't nothing going to ruin it that you could go say. Chilling with my homies, I be chilling with my. Oh, dear, you're not Spider Man. You, you were pointing first. Really. I am. Tsunami might be coming, but I'm playing oh, in the sand. And when it gets here, I guess I'm going for a swim. And I'm feeling so calm and it's beautiful. Wonder what they say in a talk at my funeral. Base my life off that, cause if. Do you like Mickey Mouse? Sure. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my god. That's <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Yeah, sure. That's so <laughs> bad though. Yeah. Do you want to get a picture? Yeah. Let's get a picture now.